Hi, Aries. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color, and this is your fall equinox reading. So that means it's the reading for the fall. Oh, this is exactly going to happen on the 22nd. No, it's a three month reading. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I hope for private readings. Information is below. Please become a member. If you become a member, then you can watch all these videos commercial free. And uh, please visit my website, ripecolor.com. I offer uh, beautiful handmade scarves, pocket squares, and t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. Be more than happy to ship them to you. And so my little mini message, I was got a mini message, is you think you're late to the party, but you're not. <laughs> you think it's like, oh, I'm late to the party. I'm late to, you know, oh, I'm late. Uh -huh. And it's like, no, you got there exactly on time. It, it, it was perfect. It was perfect. So don't do this number to yourself. It's like, well, you know, I should have done this five years ago. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, let go of that should. It's like, yeah, everything works out exactly the way it's supposed to work out. There's no coincidence. That's what I'm getting. All right. You know, all the... Um, all the turns that you took and all the um, experiences that you had were got you to right here, right now. That is a little mini message. Mm -hmm. Confidence confidence it's like well i've been working on this i've taken action whatever it is and it's like where you know where's the goodies such an interesting energy of this card um compassion Compassion. I, I feel like there's this energy of having compassion for yourself that's super important here. There's this energy of you need to have really, really the, the fascinating thing about this card is that he's the listener. He's the listener. So the energy there is of um, holding enough space for yourself to to really listen to um, your inner your inner voice that that says, you know, I love you, even though you woke up late. I love you even though you got to the party late. I, I love you, even though um, your socks don't match. <laughs> I'm supposed to say it. Like, I love you all the way through. All the way through. It's a gift you offer yourself. And, you know, know that, you know, you have taken the right action, that you have done the right thing, right? Yeah, sit with yourself and, and, and allow your higher self to comfort you and, and, and God to comfort you. And enough of this, enough of this chaos in your head, enough of this um, beating yourself up, that's what it feels like. Yeah, because you've seen the truth. You know, this is a truth that can't be unseen. Okay, it's like, okay, well, I made a mistake. I I, um, I did the wrong thing. Or suddenly I'm realizing something about myself that other people have seen. And um, and, and I'm really taking it in. And, I, and, you know, okay, so maybe you were a little bit impatient or you were um, selfish some way or something like that. And it's like, Look, I did the best I could in the situation I was in, 
and I need to move on and I need to like say I did the best I could and you know with what I had with the tools that I had with the information that I had with the emotional state that I was in I did the best I could and I'm still here and I need to forgive myself like that's what I'm really getting yep the loving mother the loving mother so you know she has this energy she is like mommy out of all the queens she's mommy so she has this energy for me of um out of all the queens she's really the loving mommy she's like a big mama right and it's like you fell you know she told you not to do something you did it anyway right and then you fell and you hurt your knee and you know you really hurt your knee and you go crying back to mommy and mommy just hugs you and loves you and it, it the love is so strong that you don't need a band-aid you don't need a band-aid because you feel the love and I, and i feel like the energy is really about being these things to yourself because when i get both uh, of one suit it, it's almost it's it's more than doubled right it's more than doubled because the the male energy is really about um doing an action taking an action and then the female energy really is about receiving right and um allowing so it's it's really about um taking the action of love toward oneself and then allowing oneself to love oneself and, and to be compassionate to oneself in spite of all the chaos in spite of you know because it's the end of a way of thinking it's the end of a way of thinking and that's how you're going to be able to move forward when the time is right you know so i get i'm getting quite a few um wands and wands are about passion and wands are about you know wands have this energy of um this is what i really want to do it's like a willful energy and it's like it's an energy of excitement it's this energy of um i'm going to make this happen right uh, i'm going to go on the trip i want to go on i'm going to buy the thing i want to buy i'm going to um go after my dream you know it's a thing that gets you out of bed in the morning it's a thing that's like that's super exciting to me you know some people and it's different for different people like some people it's really exciting to go climb a mountain me it's like it doesn't really interest me but to paint something it's like you know that's that's really exciting and other people like oh i don't really get it it's okay they don't have to um so whatever that is and I feel like, you know, forgiving yourself for the mistakes that you've made, for the, uh, when you st stuck your foot in your mouth, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, you need to like, you need to forgive yourself. That's what I'm really getting. Take responsibility and move forward and move forward. Yeah, this is like a, this is interesting. It's a four. This is like a solo interior thing. This isn't about, do you forgive me? It doesn't matter whether they forgive me. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you forgive me. What matters is that you nurture you. That's the energy I'm getting. It's like there's this self-contained sort of um, understanding and... Um, It's like your own personal relationship with yourself because you've seen things that you know were really uncomfortable and really maybe jarring and maybe chaotic and it's like can not can you allow yourself to forgive yourself it's a very soul kind of reading okay away we go 
The seeds have been planted, be confident. Listen to yourself, heal yourself now. Take responsibility for all that you've done that was um, uh, less than pleasant and all the chaos you might have incurred. You know, sit with yourself, allow spirit to heal you. Allow like the, the loving mother to come and, and, and nurture you because it's the end of something and, and the beginning of a new passion that is actually quite stable, but it's also um, like a very self-contained energy toward joy and creativity and artistic, um, the, the muses. So toward, interesting, I never saw the pumpkin before. So it's really for the moment. Cute little pumpkin. Can't make out what the other things are. It looks like peaches, but that doesn't make sense, does it? Um, toward abundance. Toward abundance and creativity and uh, inspiration. It's a, it's really a lovely opportunity. You know, I, I think that uh, no matter how much spiritual work you've done, <clears throat> I think there's always a season to come back and say, I didn't do the right thing and it's okay. You know, uh, like I've learned something from it and I can move forward. And I need to like move forward and forgive myself for all I did do, all I didn't do, all I should have done, all I shouldn't have done. It's still freedom. It's still freedom. Blessings.